This is day three, so not too shabby. I'm gonna cut these out so these will be the gable ends, make a bit more sense, and then I can also get my measurements for the rafters. Stick frame and a roof. We are ready to move the roosters over. And it is just a rooster coop. It's gonna work just fine. I'm also running the camera in case you haven't noticed. You wanna help? All right, so I've marked out the roof slope, so I've got a rise of 20 inches. This is an eight foot sheet, so we've gone up, gone over four, up five for every foot, 20 inches. And then from here, I'll be able to get my measurements. I'm gonna actually raise the outside on, because I'm using two by four for the rafters. And we, if we insulate it later, I'm gonna raise the outside a little bit. So it just gives us a little bit more room for airflow if we insulate at a later date. Okay. So pretty, I'm going to cut these out. So these will be the gable ends, make a bit more sense. And then I can also get my measurements for the rafters from, from uh, these lines I snapped out super easy. It's just like drafting, but on a piece of plywood. You're cheering me on here. <laughs> Five foot eight. <laughs> Could be right. Let's do a sixteen inch overhang. Okay. Fancy. What did you say? 58? You said 5 foot 8. That's the same. Oh, really? Yeah. Go with. Five foot eight. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Be a little bigger, but whatever. I like it. Sure. Okay. There's other ways to do it. I mean, there's, it's actually, there's a way to do it on the square. That's okay. Grab some more two by four and I'll cut them. All right. Okay. Now you can see that it's a roof slope. I've cut in a little notch here. It's gonna be a ridge beam. So I'll come up. And that's gonna help us with our face show here. 
I've also got backing on top of the wall, so that's what I built it into. And I'm going to nail on the... Uh... Actually, I'll put those on after. I'll put the other gables up, gable up on the other side. And maybe I'll put paper on this. There's ladders here. way easier to do it on the ground first. <laughs> It's a ridge beam. Ridge okay, keep beam. pushing. I'm, I'm gonna go off balance and I can't. Uh, okay, oh, stop. Let go now. <laughs> Kill beam. This is what you call a stick frame. So we got our ridge beam, which is in the middle. And I posted it down on the gables. You can see those little posts over here. You guys. And yeah, so the ridge beam is, once we have the other rafter going down that way, it just creates, creates equal pressure on the ridge beam. Just two by four, like we have a really small span here. And it is just a rooster coop. So it's gonna work just fine. I need a rafter, come on. Oh, <laughs> you really wanna make me reach? I'm short. <laughs> well, grab, you could, this is, just grab it lower so it higher. <laughs> I'm also running the camera in case you haven't noticed. Multitasking. Not gonna work. Not worth it. No, you not. You are such a rooster. I can't believe it's over time you went in. Okay, we're on the last day of the rooster coop build. Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> the rooster coop build. And this is day three, so not too shabby considering what we built. 
The last few things to do today um, is what James has already started on. So he's sheeting the roof. So basically putting, what is that plywood? Uh, it's just old form ply from rammed earth. Yeah, so we, um, like we showed you, we put on the rafters and the beam uh, for the gable roof. We're <laughs> reusing the form ply from the rammed earth um, forms to sheet the roof and then we're going to put it um, a tin roof on top just a basic tin roof we're going to try to find some stuff that we have around that matches and fits and then we have to put on um put the window in which we have here and the door and then uh, what how this is going to work here is we're going to cut i'm standing in the original hoop backyard so we're going to um, the fence here the uh, chicken wire fencing, and we're gonna attach it to the structure. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. You wanna go? All right. All right. There you go. <laughs> uh, and then there's gonna James is gonna build me some stairs because this is the doorway here. So James is gonna build me some stairs. So when I come in, I'll be able to go into the original coop, which is behind the camera, and then this one to check on the roosters. Um, I think that's all we're going to be getting to, babe. <laughs> I think that's all we're going to be getting to. So the the actual coop isn't going to be 100% finished by the time we're finished. Because? Because, because we uh, still want to obviously clad the outside. We don't want to leave this Tyvek wrap as our what our coop looks like. Um, so the idea is that when we tear down this coop and build our new one, we're going to be reusing the, is it called shiplap or? Uh, well, it's just roughs on. Roughs on boards? Yeah, on the existing yeah. coop. But I mean, that's what we use for our, the shed, so. Yeah, we're going to use that to clad this one. So it just looks a little bit rustic and ties in with everything. And James was showing me plans last night of what he wants to build this big coop. Um, so look forward to that because it is going to be awesome. I'm really excited. It's going to be really big and it's going to be really farmy. And the best part is that we are building it to potentially be able to bring in more animals and different animals, which I'm so excited about. So stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to help James with the rest of the roofing. We're going to get the window and door in and I'm going to leave him to um, take care of the fencing. And then um, the, we're hoping that we're going to move these roosters in tonight. Uh, we've ha we have a couple of ideas of how we're going to do it. I might try to get some of them over there today, at least like foraging in here so they get used to just being separate and then put food and everything in their um, hoop, see if they'll go in there when it gets dark. Or the other, James's idea is we wait until they all go to roost in their normal coop tonight, and then we come pluck them out one by one. I personally think that that would be a little bit more shocking for them than letting them see if they'll sort of figure it out themselves. So we'll decide, depending on how long it takes us today, we'll decide on what we end up doing with that. And of course we'll film it. And Oh, one last thing too, is we're going to do, obviously we're going to need a roost in there. So we're going to use a two by four on, what did you call it? Edge. Two by four on edge. Um, some chicken keepers that you might see on YouTube use like a long flat two by four and they use the um, longer side for the chickens to put their feet on when they roost and sleep at night. Um, our chickens are used to bars or like um, Dowls. Dowling. Closet rods. Yeah, closet rods basically. And they say that it's better to have their feet flat when it's cold out because then they keep them completely warm. But I haven't noticed that them holding has made, really made much of a difference. So uh, we're just going to sort of meet it in between and do the uh, two by four on the skinny side up and see how they like that. Roosters typically have bigger feet too, so I don't think that like a skinny bar is gonna work so good for them. Rod, can I pick you up and show everybody your big feet? 
<laughs> He's got the biggest feet. Hey, buddy. Hey. You're so beautiful. <laughs> hey, be nice. Okay, we better get to it. Inhale now? Yeah. Here, these are shims. Okay. So I'm gonna put the window in and then I'm gonna lift up one side. Okay. And then you're gonna slide a shim under. Okay. And then you lift it the other side, you're gonna slide a shim under. Okay? Okay. And then you wanna center it side to side, just eyeball it. Okay. What you can do is take one of the ones I put on the floor and just make sure it fits in either side. And then it'll be good. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay. I don't know why there's a big piece of wood here. Uh, That's no in. Whoa. One sec. Yeah. Oh, Does it matter which way? That's it. Just flat. Okay. Flat. Good? Yeah. Then. Well, it's got to be close to center there. Oh, uh, yeah. Good? Yeah. Oh, yeah, eh? Beautiful. Did you reach the crank? It's locked on the bottom. You need me in here still? 
I want you to open it. Okay. But we can probably want to grab a microfiber. This window is super dirty. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but... I kind of just want you to test it out and open it. When? Mm. Your chickens, your rooster's got a stylish coop. Mm. Yeah. yeah, this thing could uh, use a little. A little wipe. Well, it's just so dirty. I mean. That would hurt. And these are extra shirts. Those are for the door. I'm gonna leave them on the ledge. Yep. Yeah. Help. 